All right, good morning, everybody. And uh, <clears throat> many of you have been with the institution for Sampradaya Dance Academy for quite some time, but it's just an opportunity for us to meet again and refresh your memories about how this institution works because they're going, they've been here for a few more years, a few years, quite a few years. So it's uh, to again uh, give you an opportunity to know more about the academy and also to ask any questions that you might have. Because I found surprisingly that a lot of people didn't know about certain um, formats that we have that you weren't aware of. Maybe you knew about it, but you know, you just get so caught up in everything that you don't get to know about it. So one of the things uh, that definitely you know, because the children talk about it, is the exams that you do. And the exams we do are out of a very, very well-known organization out of England. And uh, they do international exams. They have exams in Australia, all over Europe, all over Canada for ballet, and we are the only ones that do the exams here in Canada. And even in the USA, there's nobody doing exams in Bharatanatya, okay? And uh, they, in England, from the last 20 years, many of the colleagues that I know, they are the ones that instituted exams in Bharatanatya and in Kathak. So they have a very, <coughs> very well-structured curriculum, both in Bharatanatyam and Kathak. And uh, you would have seen, <clears throat> or if you haven't, please make the effort of going through their binder and seeing the curriculum. Uh, and I think the teachers have given each of them, if your daughters don't have that curriculum for that level in your binders, please make sure the teacher, ask the teacher for it, they'll give you a printout. Or they will send you that curriculum as a PDF to your WhatsApp and please look at it and follow it. The teachers keep going through it in every class which tells them exactly what music they have to learn, what are the adabus in each of those, in each of those, uh, in that particular grade one, grade two, what are the adabus they have to learn, what is the music they have to learn what is the theory they have to learn please get more involved okay please get more involved in the in what they're learning because for many of you who may not have learned Bharatanatyam it's this language you know it might as well be Chinese or Japanese that's the the language and you have to commend your children for all that new stuff that they're learning and that they have to prepare for the exam so I, I really would ask the parents to get more involved in, in what the children are doing because they need your support. And you have to take pride in the fact that they're, besides their studies and all their other activities, they're committing so much time, you know, and, and that they're not dropping out saying that they're getting bored. They put in years into this training. And while where we teach over here, because of these exams, we are very particular in how we structure the classes. So unlike other dance academies, if a new student comes, we just don't just push them into any class. We wait till we have enough students, the newcomers, and start a new batch. In other schools, what they do, you have some students learning. If a new student comes, they just put them into the, whichever batch. So the ones that are already in that batch have to repeat everything that they're doing just to accommodate the new student. So there's no sense of moving forward with the material that they're learning. So sometimes, even though we have three students or four students in a class, we keep it that way. Whereas other teachers don't want to fill the group and have 15 students. So every newcomer comes, they just keep filling the classes and then they keep, come, come, please sit down. They just keep, uh, you know, filling their classes without paying attention that for the ones who are already learned three, four years, they have to keep repeating the same thing. There's no incentive 
for those students to stay in that class anymore. We don't do that. Sometimes we merge classes because we have separate batches at the same level. And if those groups get smaller, we merge them because they are at exactly the same level. So I want you to say that we're very, very, I mean, we have teachers meetings, discussing progress, discussing individual students. We really care about the individual student, okay? Our teachers are all graduates of this academy that I have personally trained and they continue to take teachers' training. They also sit for exams, okay? Beyond the level six that they have done. I am here observing every class and making sure that they, their attitude towards the students is good, they're encouraging, their teaching um, methodology is correct. So you might hear from some people, oh, Lata doesn't teach the classes. I can't teach every class, but I am responsible for the quality that comes out of here. And so I'm here on weeknights, I'm here during the weekends. And I'm also <coughs> involved with the professional dance company. Now, when your students, so all of us need to accept that every child is not going to be a brilliant dancer. They cannot be, just like every child cannot be a brilliant sports person, okay? But we all do make them learn, I mean, you know, if, if they were involved in a sport of some kind. We encourage them to play that sport. If they're learning piano, they learn piano and they do exams. But we don't know whether they're going to join a youth orchestra or eventually join the symphony. We don't know that. Just like that with Bharatanatyam, we don't know if they're going to become a professional dancer. We hope so, okay? So when they have finished their grade six exam, then the question of whether they're going to do their arangetram or not. We are very, very practical, okay? An arangetram is a big expense, okay? And it has to be only for those who are, you know, going to be able to take the ten, the, the, the stress of learning a new repertoire and they're going to be able to handle the, the, the complication, the complicated repertoire of an additional Gatrum repertoire and the involvement of the Abhinaya and everything that goes with it. Plus, it's also the time when the student is going to join university. There's the expense of them joining university is the expense of the full arrangement. It depends on individual parents. Are they in a position to consider that? So in our academy, we have two options. We have what's called an aradhana. So whatever they learned during their repertoire, during their, in the ISTD curriculum, plus some of the pieces that they learned during their annual recital as they grow older, they can do that to take music right here in this theater without live music to recorded music. We will train them for that, you know, so that you can invite a hundred guests and do it right here. And the expense is a lot lower. In other schools, they don't have that option. They push you to do an arangetram with live music. And the only option is an arangetram with a lot of expense. I went to one last Saturday where there were seven costume changes and seven musicians on stage. Very grand, very expensive. I'm a practical person. I don't, and for them that is the only option they have. So I don't believe that should be the, the option for me, it's the quality of dancing. For me, even in a regular uh, arangetram, it's two, two costumes, one before the intermission, one after. If you do an arangetram, you can do it in just one costume. 
So it's quality, 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 and the joy with which the student finishes the act. Okay? No doubt, whatever they do, it will not come in the way of their studies. In fact, dance is the most, is the best way to get rid of stress. Okay? So if your child is stressed about studies, when they come here and they learn dance, they come do a dance class, you can tell that they come out of here feeling good about themselves. It's a great stress buster, okay? And to, to teachers are trained to see if a child is having a bad day. They don't pick on them that day. They just leave them alone, okay? Or they find out if there's, if there's something bothering them. Do they have the flu? Do they have injured some part of their body, okay? But what we are finding is that parents are not coming to watch the classes. They've been told over and over again, once a month, come and sit in and watch the class so that they see how difficult it is to teach hand-eye co coordination. I know you have other things to do. You're all working people. So on the weekend, you have to go get groceries, you have to do this, you have to do that. But please, once a month, come in and sit down. We even stipulated which day, the last Saturday or Sunday, whichever day, of that day, come in and watch the class. But we don't see that happen. Can you not spare one hour? We used to come and for the session before COVID and we stopped because things were virtual. And honestly, I personally didn't realize that it has started back, that oh, yes. we can come it back. Has started. So we were we okay. were not sure about we that. We will send another newsletter saying that yes, it has started. Come in person and come with a mask. Yes. Come with a mask and sit. You have to watch. Yes. And your, your daughter may say no, no. But we officially are saying, please come in. Because Allery has been coming for six years now and we like whole family, we love it. We love you, we love Purvia, we love all the teachers. But this particular thing, because I am not from Bharatanatyam background. Right. So it is, I really appreciate what my kid is doing and what how you guys are teaching. But this particular topic, yeah. maybe we communicate to all the parents. We don't yeah. know no, that it has started. Yes. I was not aware that there was any confusion about Yes, okay. thank you. Yeah. The other thing is also, the whole thing about attending performances. You will all spend so much going out for dinner, okay? But you will not spend on buying a ticket to a performance that even our company does, okay? They will see their teachers performing. They will see what it takes to reach that level of perfection to perform. And it is part of their binders where they have to write about performances that they have attended. At the end, when it comes time to prepare for the exam and prepare their binder, when I ask them, there's nothing. They've not attended performances. How do they get inspired? How do they have something to write about? Every year when we have an Arangetram, we send out invitations. How do they know what's involved in an Arangetram? Nobody turns up. It's a free invitation. And it's not just the student. The parents can come. The siblings along with the parents can come. Nobody turns up. So, we have no idea why, why there is a disassociation between coming to class and attending a performance. Because that's the only way they're going to get inspired. And that's the only way they're going to realize what commitment it takes and how much hard work it takes to get to that. Okay, so I don't want to now get in the way of their class. Any questions from any of the parents here? 